Hello, it's me, and I've got my Amorphage deck. Um, their focus, good. And uh, this, it's more of a, it's a floodgate deck, and uh, it's actually a pretty good deck. I uh, used a tournament, didn't win much, but uh, I didn't have all the cards I need, and um, even so, I'm proxying a few cards in here, but. Um, I've got at least one copy of each card. So, um, let's get to the monsters. We start off with one, two, three, Gluttony. Uh, whew, this is like, it stops your point from activating, well, it stops you as well, from activating monster effects, which is pretty good. <laughs> it um, forces your point like, well, it yeah, it's still good, even though it's like easily destroyed in the pendulum zone, like by MST or Twin Twist or something like that. And the uh, downside about this is it's level two, and most of the pendulum scales of um, Morphage only go from three to five. So yeah, I'll just leave them there. Uh, one lettery, which is the, I knocked the table, is the um, the one that stops spells from activating. It also stops you. That's I only play one because, uh, it stops me from using spells, and I'm I use quite a bit of spells in this deck. I suppose you could like up like take this take one gluttony out for one one another one of these. Uh, if you're against a pendulum deck, like it stops pendulums from being activated. It's like um, an anti-spell fragrance against pendulums, really. <laughs> so next we have the level fours, which just the beaters, and I suppose the pendulums or pendulum uh, free. Pride, uh, it's 1750 attack. It's just good against burn decks as well. It says um, neither player takes any damage, effect damage. And uh, we've got another beta, which is the two wrath, 1650. This one stops monsters from being tributed except the Morphage monsters. So it really hurts Monarchs, but they kind of got toned down a bit. And one greed. This is the trap. Stops traps from get, uh, being activated. Uh, yeah, and it's more for defensive purpose. Uh, all these ones, when they're pendulum summoned or flip summoned, um, they stop either player from using the extra deck, and uh, unless it's in the morphage, X Y Z or whatever. But the beat is like the boss monsters, like Sloth and the uh, two Goliath. They just have to be on the field. Reason I play only one sloth is it's the it's a mistake of the deck and um, it stops you from adding cards from your deck to your hand as well. But it's a good attack. It's got good attack. Goliath. It's the well macrocosmos of the deck, <laughs> but it doesn't affect the morphage cards. So that's the morphage cards. Next, we have the magical abductor. It's a pendulum scale free, which is very good because the better mod, uh, better pendulums are pendulum scale five, and this you can just add um add any pendulum what was it? pendulum like pendulum monster you want. So you could even get like first turn this to like hopefully hurt your opponent or this, which a lot of decks do use monster effects and spells. Effects, spell cards. So that's the monsters. Now onto the many spells. <laughs> Run three copies of Card of Demise. Pretty much empty your hand, activate this, draw three cards, and then uh, put all three cards on the field by summoning or using them as a pendulum. And or setting the spells and traps. The only downside of this card is uh, you can't special summon the turn that you use this, but 
Um, it's still good draw power. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I keep picking them up. Um, free infection. This is the searcher. It's pretty much just um, when a morph when a monster is destroyed, tributed or um, in my hand is my monster I control or in my hand is tributed or destroyed by battle card effect. You can't add any morphic card from your deck to add. I think it's a morphic card. Uh, yeah, just a morphic card, so you can even add um, the spells and traps as well. Next, uh, triple scapegoat. <laughs> as you see from the tokens, I do like the scapegoats. They're just like to protect your monsters, like protect your life points and um, keep your morphic pendulums in play because you need to tribute or they just die. Uh, second of all, second, we have two Necro Valley. You could switch this with Void Expansion, which summons a token every standby phase. But I feel like this destroys more decks. Um, Cause you, Pendulum, pendulum uh, cards don't affect, like aren't really affected by the graveyard. So this is a good pick. Now, uh, to Mage Power, which is, you use a lot of spells and traps in this, I mean, a lot. Even Pendulums. Um, I once got a token up to 8,000 attack with just these two. Which is brilliant. Uh, double MST to get rid of back row, and I think go for Twin Twisters is because, um, you don't want cards in the graveyard. You don't want to discard any cards from your hand. Uh, to Pot of Riches, just to recycle the deck. Just might help. And um, uh, one Terraforming to search out the Necro Valley. Suppose you could always uh, use Gravekeeper's Commandment, but if you draw into this with Card Demise and you don't want to add um, Necro Valley to your hand, at least you can just throw this face down. Uh, Monarch Stormfall for like mainly Sloth and Goliath, but mainly Sloth. At least you can just tribute one of your opponent's monsters and just like, oh, summon Sloth. <laughs> and lastly, Upstock Goblin to make it 39 cards. I don't run much traps, I only run five. Um, one Lysis, 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 I think it's called. Um, Pretty much when a pendulum zone, a uh, pendulum, I think it has to be a morphage. Oh, um, there's one thing I forgot to say. These also boost your morphage monsters by 100 for each morphage card you control, including itself. And they all stack up as well. This one decreases your opponent's monsters by 100 for each morphage card you control. And when. Uh, if a card in my pendulum zone is destroyed, I can just replace it with a morph a morphage pendulum, which is pretty good. Like to recycle pendulum. Let's see, like let's see, you have Letrian, but you want Gluttony. Just destroy this, activate Gluttony. It's really simple. <laughs> um, one bottomless. Just stop those monsters, and very good against um some pendulums. Solemn Warning, just to negate those pesty summons. Uh, Dark Bribe, just cause, um, in case your opponent activates Twin Twister, it, it's still a good, it's still a good card, it's quite expensive for a common. But it just negates any spell and trap, but your opponent draws one card, that's the minus. But you just get rid of a card, so I don't really see much of a minus in this, or at all. And lastly, Mirror Force, but you could switch this with um, uh, Drowning Mirror Force. In fact, I'm just using this because I don't have a Drowning Mirror Force. So, that's the Morphage deck. And um, as you see, the, just the tokens there. And for the extra deck, I just, I don't use, I don't use any extra deck cards. This is just for sure, really, to... Um, make sure my opponent doesn't know what deck I'm playing. I, I just use any fusion cards, really. 
I even got Moki Moki King. So, this deck has actually been pretty good. Uh, yeah. But, like, the monster I've had the most, um, I've won the most games with is definitely Gluttony. He helps out a lot. Uh, you could actually add Skill Drain into this. Um, because it like, uh, hurts your opponent more than it hurts you, and um, if you use skill drain, you wouldn't want to use much of gluttony. You probably want to take out gluttony for one gluttony for one lechery. So yeah, um, hope this has helped you building your building your uh, deadly sin deck. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.